I'm Martha Beverly, the coordinator of the Cultural Arts Division for the City of Kingsport. Katie Carrico, who is the program director for the Arts Council of Greater Kingsport, is with me. Thanks for being here, Katie. Oh, I know you. you have got some things that just have happened that uh, were great, great successes. So tell us about the uh, Christmas Banner Program and also the Arch Crawl. We've been busy, yeah, the, uh, the Christmas Banner Contest was a big success, uh, thanks in partnership to the Cultural Arts Division with Martha Beverly and Bonnie McDonald. Uh, we had a fabulous bunch of entries. We had over 100 entries this year. Um, we had some uh, outside judges come in and select. We had 10 total winners, a first, second, and third place in each of three categories, elementary, middle, and high school. And we also chose a best in show, uh, and we produced a yard flags and yard signs based on the first place winners and the best in show. We sold those to uh, help promote the project. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and where did the banners end up also? Downtown. Yes. Our part best of our in Christmas. show, Miss Aubrey Baker. She uh, oh. did have her uh, winning entry turned into a light pole. Uh, banner that did go up on Main Street. I know, they were all up and down on the light poles on Main Street as they part were. of the downtown Christmas decorations and they were great. And also you just had a very successful arts crawl event. We did. We had our first ever arts crawl event. It's a new fundraiser that we're doing. Um, it's just designed to sort of get people downtown and um, eating restaurant, uh, eating at restaurants that are downtown. The food was all provided by local restaurants. Um, Five galleries participating. We also visited the newly remodeled bank building. Uh, so just a great success. We've already got another one on the calendar. I know. And when we talk <laughs> about the, the past successes of both of these events, one of the exciting things is there's already a committee and already in plans for next year. So there I know is. we've got the Arts Crawl Committee getting ready to get all fired up again. And that day is going to be downtown again? Yes, downtown again, April the 29th. Um, so put that last, on your calendar. Yeah, last that, Thursday in April. That is an event that you will not want to miss. I know we had a big, big turnout, and this will be, we did, we're going to do one in the spring and the fall. Right. And you get to visit all the downtown galleries. Yes, try and, to make that a biannual event, yeah. get people downtown. Uh, we also have got information available on the new Christmas banner contest. Uh, the deadline is next September, but of course we'll be accepting entries all the way up to that deadline. So, and so I know that will start becoming an annual event. Yes. And so yes. that'll be a great thing. And your information on your website is at it's kingsportarts.org. And then your phone number? 392-8420. And you can get all kinds of information, talk to Katie personally. And then I know a big, big part of your job is the Arts for Kids program. It is. And it's going on. I know we just had one snowed out. We did. One of the events snowed we out. Did. But we're talking about the summer camp. We so, are. So we're talking about summer that's just right around the corner. It is. And I know that you've, you've that's been a couple of years that you've done the arts camp in the it summer. Is. And so that's a date that you want to put on your calendar for your kids as well. Sure. This is going to be the third year that we're going to do our summer arts uh, summer camp. And uh, that is going to be June 21st through the 25th. Uh, so go ahead and put that on yeah. your calendar. We're excited about that. And that'll be a, a great week-long event yes. for the kids to participate in. And people are always calling, wanting to know what their kids can get involved in. Sure. And the Arts for Kids program is one that is just outstanding, and you're now doing the monthly programs. We are. We do a different program every month, so just be sure to check our website or give me a call at the office, and I'd be happy to uh, fill you in on what we're doing for the month. Um, right now, for January, we're going to be doing um, live masks with Miss Kingsport. Uh, for February, we're going to be working with Black History yeah, Day. Yeah, oh, that's right. You're going to yeah. do the big Black History Day we on do. February the 27th, and you're bringing in a really great tap dancer. Tell, tell us, Kingsport, about that. We're bringing in Terrence Bennett and his um, associate. They are a tap duo called Tip Tap 2. Uh, we are very excited. They are uh, the highest caliber artists we've brought in for uh, a single single Arts for Kids workshop. So we're really excited to have that. And, they'll, and they'll be here for the February 27th they event. Will. They it's going to be an all-day uh, event that I was talking to Stella Robinette about yes. earlier. And, uh, and she's just all excited and fired up. And great event that'll be at the Renaissance Center. It will. They'll be doing four workshops the afternoon of the 27th. Okay. So. And so go to kingsportarts.org and you yes. can get all the information that you 
want to, sure. call Katie and talk to her personally. And the, uh, the Arts Council is, just does a, a great job in all of supporting all of the arts groups. And of course, we're getting ready to do this cultural arts plan, and we talk about engaging people with the arts. Oh, and what better place to start than with the Arts Council and all the information that you all provide to the community and the help and support that you give to all the other arts groups. And, and we'll be looking forward to, uh, to the Arts Crawl in the spring. And, Hopefully we won't get snowed out yeah. for the arts crawl. And, um, but, no more stuff. Yeah, so we appreciate you being here today. We've been visiting with Katie Carrico, the program director for the Arts Council of Greater Kingsport. Thank you for watching.